Hello and welcome to the Making Musical Quantum Lips podcast, where we're here to support you in taking your singing skills to the next level. I'm your host, Coach Worship, and I'm thrilled to have my co-host, Jamie, with me. In this podcast, we'll take you on a 30-day podcast marathon, teaching you everything you need to know about diction for singers. Diction is the art of pronouncing words clearly and expressively, using your voice parts to make sound and speech. Diction is essential for singers, as it helps you share your message, emotions, and style with your audience. Each day, we will explore a different topic related to diction, such as vowels, consonants, syllables, stress, intonation, accent, dialect, and more. We will also give you practical tips and exercises to improve your diction and singing performance. By the end of this podcast marathon, you will have a better understanding of how your voice works and how to use it effectively. So join us on this exciting journey of learning and singing. You can subscribe to our podcast on Spotify or on any other listening platforms. You can also follow us on Twitter at the Making Musical Quantum Leaps podcast or email us at joinusingschoolofsounds at gmail.com if you have any questions or feedback. Hello there, good day to you. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope your day was amazing. So what we'll be doing today basically is an overview or a review of what we've looked at from day one till day 27. On day one, we looked at Diction for Singing 101, which was an introduction to the course, of course. <laughs> yes, we looked at diction, um, introduction to Diction. On day two, we looked at how the voice works. On day three, we looked at articulators, where we had good worship, you know, talk to us on what articulators are, how they walk, and all that. We also gave we also gave exercises that day. We had um, tongue and teeth articulators. We also had tongue twisters. There's one, I think, that was, was palate articulators. Um, day four, we looked at singing vowels. Day five, we looked at vowel modification, which was an overview. And then on the on day six, we looked into vowel modification deeply. We had an in-depth, you know explanation on the modification on day seven we had coach jewel talk to us on how to sing without an accent and same thing with day eight day eight was a part two of the first day on day nine we had cable calls talk to us on accents the balance in accent and day 10 we had him talk to us on the beauty of the african accent where i remember him saying your accent is beautiful and also how we can infuse our accents into songs that we listen to to add spice and make the song even more beautiful on day 11 we looked at how to fast track your growth while learning diction we had jemo give us tricks on no, not tricks tips on how to enhance our growth in the race of learning diction and one thing that was emphasized on was practice 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 like you can't get enough practice and you can't go wrong with practice on day 12 we looked at h or no h the dilemma of yoruba singers that's a an episode you should listen to if you actually have issues with the h factor um on day 13 we looked at mastering the word the how to master the most common word in singing next day we looked at learning diction rules that give us power and i remember coach worship emphasizing that learning diction is not for you to sound like the british people or to sound like the americans it's just to improve yourself it's not trying to modify how you sound to sound like a particular set of people because in doing that we're kind of putting down our own accents and giving rise to that which should not be we also saw that if you want to grow you have to learn if you're learning from a particular singer you have to do everything the way he does because that person is already on a level that you are not and you can't start saying that you want to infuse your style where you don't even know how to do what the person has done yet so first what you do is be like the person in terms of learn what the person does learn how he or she does it then infuse your style into that that way you have a unique name for yourself on day 15 we had a song review day 16 we looked at biggest lies you've been told about local singers and we had a song we listened to lauren's oil is it oil, oil now give a red nation on um, what a beautiful name it is and 
all that, all that. Day 17, we looked at harmony and diction, how to blend in with others. Day On day 18, we looked at learning a song in a different language and we used a Hausa song as case study. And we learned that when you want to sing a song that is not in the language you're native to, that is not the language you speak or you know, find somebody that speaks the language, find somebody that understands the language to an extent and make that the person help you and guide you in your pronunciation. So when you're singing a song to a large group of people and people that are native of that song or native of that place hear you, they'll be able to understand you and they'll even appreciate you more for not being a native but being able to sing and speak and pronounce the words, pronounce the words the way they should be pronounced. On day 19, we looked at principles of diction and the creative choices that we make. On day 20, we looked at diction, phrasing and emoting. On day 21, we looked at singing in cursive. What is it and should it even be done? And we actually learned that singing in cursive shouldn't be done because it's more like you singing in a different language. That day, we, we heard a clipping of, um, of an audition from The Voice and we heard one of the judges asking Katy Perry, is she singing in another language? Because he really couldn't understand what she was saying because all her words were jumbled up and mixed up together and it was like she was making up this accent that is not really an accent and stuff like that. On day 22, we looked at vocal baby steps, how to learn, relearn, and unlearn. And that was an episode I loved so much. That was by Simi Harmony. That when you've, you've learned the wrong things, you have to also give yourself chances to relearn. When you know that you've realized that something that you learned is not, is not the right way, try to unlearn it and relearn the proper thing. It's not actually easy and it takes a long time to relearn. But with consistency and practice, you'll definitely relearn the proper thing. On day 23, we looked at after addiction, what comes next? What do you do next after learning addiction? On day 24, we looked at be a copycat. Finding your unique self become, begins somewhere, begins at some point, begins at some place. And we saw how Moana took what she heard from a producer and turned it around to be her drive and her motivation. So you don't have to be born with the gift of singing you can actually learn it and you have to be consistent when you learn it for you to be able to become a master at it on day 25 we looked at the seven sense the human musical intelligence the hmi and that sounds something it sounds so posh it sounds like something like you know when you're talking about alien invasion and that's what it sounds like it sounds like something that color of space and all that kind of thing and we saw that this involves you listening to quality music, listening to good music. Because when you listen to good music, you're able to pick out, because good music has something that's peculiar to all of them. So you know, like when you listen to good music constantly and constantly, you know. On the 26, you looked at a song with you, also just like we did on day 15. On the 27, which was yesterday, we looked at when to break rules, song interpretations versus perfection. And that was all, that was, that has, that has been all, that was the, <laughs> that's a list of everything that we have done from day one till day 27 and today is day 28. Two more days and we'll be at the end of this podcast marathon. We're on the 28th day already as you know and every day draws us closer to the 30th day when we're going to be celebrating our third year anniversary. Yes. If you don't know, we celebrate our third year anniversary on the 30th day of this month, which happens to be the 30th day or the last day of our podcast marathon. Our course for today is in the world of music, every other thing fades away. And if you don't follow us on Spotify or on whatever listening platform you use, please make sure you do that. And also don't forget to like each episode as you listen also feel free to drop a comment below or you can send us a review to a direct message on whatsapp and our sponsorship door is opening so if you're interested in sponsoring our podcast and sponsoring the mmqo please do not hesitate to send us a dm and we'll get across to you on how to go about it thank you so much and from every one of us at the mmqo podcast it's bye